laying out points. Now that I have my instrument set up on the job site, it represents itself with this little instrument icon. It also shows me where I'm standing with my prism pole, and I'm represented by a red bullseye. The first thing that I want to do is lay out points, so I'm going to click the Lay Out Points button. And once in here, I'm going to go to the ellipse just to make sure that I am indeed in layout. Now, I need to tell the instrument which point I want to lay out. In doing so, my directions up here will update. So I'm going to say I want to lay out point S3. Once I select it, you need to go back 4 feet and change and left 2 feet and change. Now that is assuming I am facing the robot. These directions are only good if you're facing the robot. And as you move, you're going to want to square your shoulders up and face the robot every single time. That way those directions are as accurate as possible. The second thing that you want to do is you always want to make sure that the prism pole is plumb. If the prism pole is not plumb, your directions will not be accurate. So I'm going to start moving. And as I move, once I get closer to that point, specifically within three feet, it's going to switch over to what we call the hockey puck and the bullseye view. And the name of the game now is to try to get that hockey puck onto the bullseye. As I move the prism into its position, what I want to see are my green arrows. That means that I'm within tolerance. That means I'm right on top of the point, and my prism pole is plumb, and now I can stake that point or measure that data. So I would hit the measure button. It lets me know that the observation or the measurement has been taken. I'm within tolerance. As you see, it's represented by my toast, and it lets me know what type of point this is. This just happens to be a simple square. So now I can close out of this if I like. I can hit the next button and it'll update my directions and take me towards the next point. Now you'll notice it didn't switch me back out to the map view. The reason it did not do that is because this point is within three feet of the last point. If I were to move my prism pole out farther away from that point, it's going to switch me back to the map view. And that's a good way to know if you're close to the next point or if you need to walk a few steps to get to it. So I'm going to move back into my next point. And as I get closer and closer and closer, again, I'm getting that prism pole, making sure it's plumb, and I'm walking it in. Now let's say, for example, I can't stake the point out right where it needs to be. Maybe there's an obstruction in the way. If I stake this point right here, it's going to measure that point, but it's going to let me know that it was staked out of tolerance. This isn't all bad. If you couldn't put that point there because there was something in the way, then you can relay that back to the design team that there is indeed something in the way here, and this is where I measured the point because this is where it would work. Let's go on to the next point, and I'll move this prism once again and get it closer to that point. And now we've got our green arrows. We're within tolerance, and I'll go ahead and measure that point. So I've just measured three points. And if I go back to the map view, you can see that now my points on the map are represented either with a green check mark or a red X, letting me know that I am indeed done with those points.